Should high school students be taught how to be creative? What does it mean to be creative in the first place? In this day and age, I believe an increasingly important skill for everyone is creativity. Every day, we students face pressures to achieve in academics, to maintain our social lives, to maintain our social media profiles, and to face the anxiety of living during a global pandemic. Setting time aside to be creative is one thing we could try to do to escape from these pressures. Over the past few months, one of the things that I myself tried to do was to get creative. Over the journey of writing my first song, I began to wonder about what creativity truly means, rebooting my previous perception of the topic. Why is it that time always seems to pass instantly when we're creating something new? What happens in our brains when we're being creative? And when else do we use creativity in our daily life? If there's one thing that you should take away from this talk, it's that we don't simply use our knowledge to be creative. We also use our intuition. That is to say, we think in a range of different ways. In preparation for this presentation, I did some research about creativity, and I'll try to answer that question that I asked earlier. Creativity is our ability to be imaginative and inventive. An interesting distinction that I learned about was between convergent thinking and divergent thinking. Convergent thinking is our ability to use analytical reasoning to find the single correct solution to a problem, and it's associated with intelligence. Divergent thinking, on the other hand, is our ability to come up with rich ideas and original thoughts. We associate this with creativity. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever been doing something and been so totally engaged, engrossed, and focused on it to the point where hours just seem to fly by? Well, a psychologist named Mihai Csikszentmihalyi wrote about this feeling, which he called flow, that people often feel when being creative. It's when you're so immersed in something that you totally forget about everything else around you. The stresses of everyday life, the sights and sounds of the environment you're in, and even the passage of time all disappear. This could be through doing music, writing, sports, scientific experiments, and more. By reaching this flow state, people often feel more motivated and satisfied. I experienced this feeling when I was working alongside a musical friend on a section of the song, and I felt a complete escape from everyday life. So how does all of this work out in real life? My creative process shows how convergent thinking, divergent thinking, and flow come together. I began after I was inspired after a jazz piano lesson. I created a bass line, Then I thought that was pretty good, so I added some chords on top of it. And finally, I added a drum beat to pull it all together. I was excited. Later that week, I taught my bandmates the different parts, and when I heard everything linking in together, it was the most satisfying feeling in the world. What did I learn from doing this? Divergent thinking, being creative, is satisfying. 
I definitely felt a sense of flow while playing with my bandmates, and I always looked forward to continuing working on the song in my spare time. Later, when I was trying to come up with a melody for the song, I brainstormed as many ideas as I could, but I was completely and utterly stuck. Nothing I was playing sounded right. Curse you, writer's block! So I continued with my day as one does, but then that night, just as I was trying to go to sleep, I was struck with the idea for what would end up becoming the final melody. While I was trying to sleep, lying in my bed, I grabbed my phone and recorded myself humming the melody so I wouldn't forget it the next day. This is when I learned yet another valuable lesson about creativity. You cannot force it. To bring everything together, I'll try to answer that question that I asked all the way at the beginning of the talk. Should high school students be taught how to be creative? My answer, in all facets of life, we students need to use different types of thinking to solve our problems. Convergent thinking versus divergent thinking. Knowledge versus intuition. Conscious versus unconscious. To prepare us to be successful, we should be learning in an environment that allows us to practice all types of thinking. Along the way, we might even find something that we're passionate about, too. With all of that in mind, take a listen to the song that I've been writing over the past few months. Oh, 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 oh,